Yo, I, I, I go on, it's your boy Janice, man. You know how we rockin' Lizon. And you're probably wondering, yo, Jay, why do you want to have naked blood off in the middle of, uh, Eversong Woods? That is because I have a guide here for you today. The same person that asked for level 49, asked for level 69 too. I got that. But before we get into it, you know what I'm saying? I know not all of you want to see, uh, are, are not here to build a twin character. Although this is honestly the, the cheapest twin character you can build. So if you ever wanted to build a twin character, now is the time. But if you're not here to do that, the PVP will start here. Timestamp on the screen. Okay. Uh, but the most important part to twinking is freezing your level. Just in case, for those who don't know how to do it, I shall show you now. So for Horty folks, you're going to want to pull up to Valley of Honor, this big green building here. Once you get inside this big green building, okay, that's the one right in front of the door. You're going to hit a left. You're going to hit a left again, and he'll be right there. Click him. I wish to no longer gain experience, and for 10 gold, no longer have the ability to level. For Alliance, you're going to pull up to the Stormwind Keep. Okay, you're going to go past Varian's big ridiculous chair and right behind that is going to be the war room here and you're going to make a right, it'll be right here and that is it. Alright, so starting off with the headpiece, we got boom, Rhino Hide Mask, this comes from Quest, easy to do, okay, it's just a regular old quest item, but yet for some dang reason, 30 agility, 23 haste, 104 AP. Why? Because NPCs had a lot of health and you needed to be able to kill them fast. But instead of having one piece, you're collecting all of the best quest items. Because that's what majority of this stuff is. Actually, that's dang near what all of this is. <laughs> Boots. These come from uh, the Nexus. A lot of your gear you're going to be getting is from the Nexus. Okay? Nexus has so many bomb items. So many. Uh, I wayscaped like crazy. I was not supposed to go to the boots next, but it was there, so I did it anyways. May as well keep going that way. Gloves. Absolutely ridiculous gloves. Where do these come from? They come from the Nexus. Once again, another piece of Nexus. Shoulders. Where do these come from? Nexus. And these are separate quests. They're not all under the same quest, just in case somebody's thinking, oh, what if they're all... No. Y'all gotta remember something about Wrath Lynch King. Wrath Lynch King dawned the time where, for some odd reason, every single dang dungeon was giving out some heat with, like, 80 million different dungeon quests. Okay? Legs. Look at the... St 80 stamina. Yeah. I didn't even... I don't... I forgot that was that much stamina. Ridiculous legs. So these are all just regular quest items. But what happens is you take all these regular quest items and you put them together. Once again, another quest item. Pretty sure you get that chest piece from like the freaking third or fourth quest in as soon as you hit Born Tundra. That name is very familiar. I'm pretty sure that's what that, that chest piece is. That is literally like the fourth or fifth quest you do once you hit Born Tundra, you get that chest piece. Well, another quest item. Wrist, we got two options here. We got Vendetta Bindings, we got Bone and Laid Bracers. Now, unfortunately for us Alliance players, we're stuck with the bone inlaid. Fortunately for us Horty players, we get the Vendetta Bindings, which is clearly the better option, you know what I'm saying? 60 AP, but you get that agility, which means a little bit more crit and all that. Boom. And that's why, that's why sometimes it pays to be both. As a Horty and Alliance player, I may not claim an allegiance, but... I get both the best of both worlds. <laughs> I'm a back and forth guy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the rest of this stuff, quest items. Executioner Bane, Icy Ripper, that's your two best rings. Armor Penetration, Crit, quest items. One from a dungeon, one from a regular quest. Your cloak, quest item from a dungeon. Come on, man, this stuff is too, e it's too easy. It's too easy, there's no hard farming. For any of this crap, man, it's absolutely beautiful. This is easily one of the best twink builds you could go for. Let's skip to weapons real quick. Or actually, no, we missed a uh, neck piece. So we got boom, we got bam. Now, unfortunately for my Horty players, fortunately for my Alliance players, we got some trinkets up here. We're gonna show those real soon. But for neck pieces, okay, you got Warp Tooth Pendant, and you got a uh, 
you got I need to use the bathroom. That's what we got. But and we got uh these two here. These come from Ud Udgard. Alrighty, bathroom break complete. But the best in my option uh, in, in my opinion is this right here, which comes from a quest in Halloween Fajord. You crit more AP 24 stamina as where this is hit expertise and attack power. Which is you know it's, it's good to have a little bit of hit, but at this level I don't think it's gonna be that important. Uh, after all, you are weren't you're taking all the best of the best pieces and putting them under one thing uh, versus actually leveling whatnot. Now for trinkets, we got two types of trinkets here. We got popums and then we got uh, steady trinkets. Those are trinkets that don't do nothing special. They sit and they do what they do. You know, chance on hits and stuff like that. For our popum trinkets, we got boom, bam, pop, beat. Okay, this one right here is a hoardy only trinket. So you get a little bit of crit and attack power instead of, you know, the uh, uh, AP and haste, haste and AP, haste and AP, which is cool. But in my opinion, more power. After all, when you see these weapons, um, you're going to want to go combat for this. You're going to want to go combat, kill spree build specifically. You can go assassin and subtlety if you want, but combat to me is definitely going to be the way you're going to see because that fist weapon right there. But for our uh, sedentary trinkets, you know what I'm saying, the trinkets that just do what they do behind the scenes, we got Bone, which f for the first time in a long time, this is an alliance only trinket, very good trinket too. And we got Bone, you know what I'm saying, chance on spell critical, spell critical. Is that just some weird way of typing? Because this is melee stuff, why does it say spell critical? I don't use spells, baby. Probably just the way they typed it out, because that, that's a melee trinket. But so if you, if you like a trinket that does a little bit of stacking, you know what I'm saying? This is an alliance only, like I said. But this right here is the better choice. Although, uh, this equals up to 167, and you get 38 outright. This does last longer. So it's 20 seconds. And the stack up. Well, uh, actually, that depends. It depends on how long it takes for the uh, trinket to stack up then because it, it might take like it t it's stacking up to 10 times that might be 10 times once every second you only get it for 10 seconds so yeah i didn't even think about that actually so my bad folks that trinket kind of whack uh this is the one you're gonna want both come from freaking easy quest so like i said everything in here comes from a dungeon and quest and most of them being dungeon quests this is too easy to make Honestly, if you ever wanted to make a twink character, level 69 should be the one you go for. This is just too easy. Every single one of these comes from a dungeon and quest. Now for our weapons here, we got two throwing options. Or not throwing options, two ranged options. We got boom, we got bam. Okay, this is the best of the best for stats uh, if you just want a stat stick. But for all my deadly throw folks out there, you're gonna want to get your, you're gonna want to get your hands on the crystalline star. Which, just like everything else from here, uh, comes from a quest. Easy as for a quest. This is easily the easiest twink you could possibly make. If you ever wanted to make one, now's the time. Now, the reason why I'm saying you're going to want to be combat. Um, our weapon options are both great. But, here's the thing. right? Blizzard threw out the little bit of Wrath Lynch King. Weapons that were faster and slower than 360 for your two hands and 260 for your uh, your swords and 150 for your lightweight swords or lightweight uh, weapons because not all swords, you know, the axe, mace and whatnot. They still randomly would add weapons that did 270s, 280s. There's even a 290. 290. But none of that, that thing couldn't compare to this monster right here. 32 attack power, 17 armor penetration, 15 agility, 21 stamina, 280 speed, 91.1 damage per second, and a dagger to match. A little slow, but that's fine. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? It may not be polar opposite. There's a lot of daggers that exist with highly uh with real good speeds but their their stats just kind of whack like like real doo, doo i ain't gonna lie like i i looked at a lot of daggers and all their stats were doo because i was going to go for, for a green 140 
just so you could have that polar opposite but they were all terrible so you really could just get two of these this is a quest uh this is not a quest dagger this is a, a, a boss drop dagger so you could get as many as you want of these um it's it's a good pair nonetheless though they're two monstrous weapons and this is why i'm saying you're gonna want kill sprees because that 280 look at that 641 now me personally i'm gonna be going with the stat stick because i usually don't use deadly throw like that because i I tend to be pretty good at keeping uh keeping up with people so i, I tend not to gravitate toward, toward deadly throw but i had to give it because i know there's a lot of people who more than likely do use deadly throw you know what I'm saying? Not saying that you shouldn't. You definitely should if you if you, if you use it a part of your build and it, and it works very well for you. You definitely should. Um, go ahead and move this stuff now. Enchantments. This is where things might get just a little expensive. Just a little expensive. Okay. For our cloak, you're gonna want that superior agility because you are level 69. You have access to those gorgeous, gorgeous Wrath of Lynch King enchantments. 1500 attack power man come on man come on man chest you're gonna want the the big stats you know what i'm saying 10 10 stack okay for your boots you want that 16 agility superior agility you know what i'm saying uh voice cracked slightly there of how my voice cracked it gets deeper instead of i you know what i'm saying it's not the usual hey guys no it's always hey guys it's like what the fuck just happened there uh, for bracers, you're going to want that crusher. That is not bracers. That is gloves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get that crusher. 44 big AP. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely ridiculous levels of attack power. For your headpiece, you're going to want a lesser arcanum of ferocity. This is a low level uh, item. Really easy to get your hands on. Okay. Not, not going to take you much to get that. Neither cobra. Leg armor. Find these on the market might be a little expensive for your enchants you get the best of the best berserking this did not exist during tbc you know what i'm saying tbc you needed dual mongoose 130 agility that's probably i want to say what 200 something attack power maybe now this you're getting a full 400 and if you're lucky and they stack at the same time you're looking at 800 okay for your bracers Greater Assault for that big 50 AP and uh, uh, put you nearly at 1800 which is absolutely ridiculous for a level 69 and then you're going to want to do a little bit of Aldor farming get honored for that description of vengeance this goes on shoulders that'll put you up to that 1800 this is I want to say two almost 300 more AP than the TBC build off of a bunch of freaking quest green uh quest greens and dungeon blues uh quest blues not even dungeon blues quest blues uh, some of these are dungeon i'm pretty sure these two weapons and this this uh this gun that being said folks that is it but now we need to talk about glyphs or glyphs <laughs> so for uh glyphs i'm, I'm uh, uh you know what i'm saying i'm i'm rocking that killing spree all right killing spree for obvious reasons You gotta have kill spree as ready as often as possible. You go with Sinister Strike, those are my first two I would go with. Sinister Strike because you get more combo, which means you get to unleash more damage. Uh, killing spree because more damage. But if you don't wanna go with kill spree, I mean, not kill spree, if you don't wanna go with Sinister Strike, you can't switch to Blade Flurry because a lot of times when, uh, when I enter a, a battle, before I hit kill spree, I pop Blade Fl uh, Flurry and. Uh, adrenaline rush but i don't think you should take it over sinister strike and killing spree in my opinion because 50 percent 50 percent chance at extra combo points is too good to pass up for a little bit of uh, agility uh energy boost off of blade flurry which probably won't make the biggest difference in 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 the fight when you're literally level 69 with brutal gladiator levels of attack power <laughs> and no one else is going to have that much power not a single person in that bg with the capability of getting up to about 2600 so you're probably not the most necessary this is what i would be looking like you know what i'm saying and whatever else extra you could go with you could go with i, I didn't find anything i really cared about so i just i left that open there 
gonna go ahead and save just in case my game crashes um let's get into the pvp that's it this is probably the fastest one to date because this stuff is so dang easy to get our hands on it's as simple as that folks quest blues quest greens that come out of dungeons there's no hard farming for a single piece here unless you're just unlucky enough to not get a single drop off of a boss let's get into it another thing i forgot to say is the health difference the level 69 twink for tbc staggered around six to seven k here i'm nine k with no buffs that is the sheer difference of wrath lynch king gear to tbc gear we are about i want to say two maybe 300 ap up okay way more health it's ridiculous we're literally got we literally have brutal brutal gladiator levels of attack power now of course if that brutal gladiator didn't have very many enchants on but then again berserking didn't exist so technically we're higher than if if we get a double proc if we get a double proc <laughs> look at this dude man look at this dude man word to my mother now, as a heavily geared twink, a lot of the times, I ain't gonna lie, I be doing things I normally wouldn't do. Like flag carrying, you know what I'm saying? Why not? Who gonna stop me? You know what I'm saying? Get him out of here. Sir, you really gonna attempt to take this flag while I'm sitting here? You just gonna disrespect me like that and disregard my existence? Somebody pick up this dang flag they trying. This is ridiculous. You, do you dare try to steal my kill, sir? Oh, I thought they pulled up to the... Uh, I'm gonna say, yo, they're trying to base snatch already? Hey, hey, you. Hey, you. Paladin with the frickin' Nax gear on, huh? I think that's gonna save... Oh. A lot of people. Uh, I wanna test something out here. I don't know if we'll get enough people to, to, to jump, jump on at the same time. Oh, never mind. They all left. Uh... Oh shoot, that shield is surviving, huh? Goodness, boy. Oh. Ouchie, how dare you interrupt my cast. I have to get out of here. There's a lot of people coming. Oh, we're, we're gone. Ma'am. Ouchie. Okay, we have to do some things here. Gotta pop everything. We got a lot of people on us. I'm dead. <laughs> Well, just look at that. A paladin wearing redemption is really strong. <laughs> okay, I'll be honest. I messed up. No way in the world as a rogue should I have ever pulled up on a paladin like that. But I tried. I tested my luck. And I got murdered for it. Get the frick out of here, man. Okay, there's not enough toe-to-toe -to -toe capabilities that the rogue has to be pulling up on, on a paladin. You know what I'm saying? With tenfold activity, like you're gonna take that paladin down in a couple of shots. It's just not it just don't work like that, you know? Sir, why are you wasting my time? Okay, you're going to die. Kill him, man. Hunter. What are you? You're a death knight. Why did I think he was a hunter? Ooh, not the torn stun. God I love the torn stun, but we go they, they don't, don't don't trip though, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pull up on that warrior. I'm gonna do warrior? He was not a warrior. I'm gonna pull up on that paladin, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. I just dropped the flag. I did not drop the flag. Did I drop the flag? I'm cheating. Look, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I need to find that paladin. Okay, that was a vicious beating. I will not let that continue. Also, need this base back. I don't know how they took this base like that. Where were, where were people at? You know what I'm saying? Just do it with the Ragnaros hammer, man. Is that a priest? Doing priest things? Now, can I get a minute to speak to you about you and your priest activity? I heard you was healing people. See, that's illegal when I'm around. Okay? So you can't do that to a paladin. You gotta be strategic. Especially a paladin wearing redemption. And Nax Ramus gear. Might be a little outdated, but it's still very strong. Uh, as we saw by that whooping I, I received. Okay? There is no such thing as invincibility at this level you know what I'm saying you, you're starting to get to a level where people can still easily fight back deem their gear be good enough you know what I'm saying and when you're wearing redemption and and, and, and Nax Ramus gear there's not much you have to do 
to demol- <laughs> Dang, Warlock, there's not much you gotta do to demolish people. I think that was a protection problem too, that was, that was the crazy part. I don't know, I, there was no chance of me beating him with brute force. So watch this though. Look what, the, look what the rogue can do. Pop that. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody die, nobody live. Where you going? Come on now. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, they're still spawning in. Hold on. Okay, we need this base. We need this base back. Is anybody at? Rogue? Can't really get this base because they keep spawning back here. I mean, we went in, but it's not enough. Not enough at all. What the? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What? Man! What the fuck was that? Hey, hey, kill <laughs> Dang, Death Knight, pull that man in. He would have never made that. If the, man, if these were real people, he wouldn't have made that. Dang, man, how he get that? Ooh, wee. Swords on that boy right there, boy. Got the boots and the legs. Dang near best in slot, boy. Was, okay. No wonder I got whooped by that paladin. Some of these fools in here got some gear. I can't, I can't even lie to you. Why is our base not moving? I'm gonna say what's going on. Who this? Okay, we're gonna cut from this part because we, we need to uh we need to grab this base. Nothing special popping right now. What the fuck? Except for this silly mage. Come on man, get out of here. This damage is ridiculous though. I don't know if we got in a dual prop. Crit kind of whack, but, you know, that's expected from greens. Boom, there we go. Okay, I need I need that paladin. I need that paladin. I don't know how to find that food, though. Man. That was disrespectful. That level of beating I had received. I don't appreciate it. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, I came in a little brawler, and, and, and maybe I deserve that beating. But... I gotta get my kill back, you feel me? The fuck? Boom, 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 boom. Get him out of here, boy. Oh, I'm being, I'm being jumped. Ouch. Oh. He beat the crap out of me. You heard the sound of that mace? I was supposed to hit what's the name? I didn't. I started panicking a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna count. Ain't gonna count. Out of here. Sorry. There's a lot of fucking Like, super low bees in here, too, man. I do not do small battles when I'm that low level. I refuse to do small battles when I'm that low level. You can't do nothing. You just get killed 70% of the time. By people, especially, ooh, especially when you get killed by people you know for a fact you could kill, but you can't do anything because you're too dang low and you're too undergeared to properly do anything to them. That is the worst. It's like, come on, man, on a normal day, you could have never killed me. But because I'm so dang low, I can't do nothing. I never do small battles when I'm underleveled. I don't do small battles until I'm like 65. Where my gear is now decent enough to hold up. But doing battles like, like 61, 60, 62, 63, 64, too low. Too low. I'm not doing it. Because in bullcrap like that, it happened. Where there's absolutely no skill in the battle whatsoever. That nigga just two shot you. And it's like, okay, boom. The fight's over. Like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Especially when you know for a fact you could kill that guy. You could clearly... S what the fuck? I punched to death, boy. Don't touch me. Oh, get that bullcrap off me. Way too many people had to get up out of there. Where's that pallet, man? The dang next gear on. I ain't seen that fool since. I need, I need, I need my kill back. Okay. The boy needs to, needs to get back. Probably over there at freaking Draenei Ruins beefing. Oh, they just took it back too. Need my kill back, man. 
I don't appreciate the way I died. <laughs> I don't appreciate it, man. It was a brutal beating. I ain't gonna lie, he beat the goofy out of me. Now I need to return the favor. Okay. There's not enough gear in the world. There you go. Level 66? Oh, I'm a dang fool. Level 66 in next gear. There was no way I was beating him that easily. I thought he I thought he was lower for some reason. I thought he was lower. I don't know why. Could I could have sworn he was a, a lower level. There, I, but level 66 in next gear. Ah, there it goes. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and call it there. Uh, I know it was only I, <laughs> my game just crashed. If you're wondering what happened. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that enough though. I enjoyed it too until the game just crashed on me. Um, it's been your boy <laughs> Jadon Legendary. Yo, level 69 PvP good is, is very good. Uh, very good. You know what I'm saying? But you do have to be careful when uh facing paladins in in, in full redemption and max shields and stuff. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I really was not paying attention. I saw the next gear and all that, but number one, I didn't even realize he was level 66. So some of his pieces were probably slightly better than next. No, is that even possible? Nah, full redemption. Redemption next gear lasted a very long time throughout TBC. You probably didn't get rid of most next pieces until like level 68, 69, maybe even 70, and had to be like high 70 blues or heroic. Yeah. No, nah, that, that was a foolish move. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. That was a foolish move pulling up on a on a protection paladin in redemption and max pieces. That was my fault there. You know what I'm saying? It is very possible to beat him, but we'll never know because my game decided to crash on me. So that battle is completely scrapped. I could log back in and, 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 and whatnot. Oh, no. No, I'm saying it wrong. My game didn't crash. As you can see, we're still on Warcraft. Uh, the server crashed. So that battle is completely gone. We'll never know if I was going to kill him or not. I probably was. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Lizon. Level 69 Twink is very healthy, but extremely easy to make. So if, if you've ever, if you've never wanted to get, if you've ever wanted to get into Twinking, uh, uh, level 69 is definitely the level to do it. 69 or 59. The stuff is so cheap and so easy to get unless you're going for the Iron Four and, uh, and the Dagger. Uh, that's going to take some time. But level 69, you ain't got to do none of that. It's all freaking regular dungeon stuff that'll drop at like a 26, 25, 27, 30% drop rate and a bunch of quest blues and greens. The only thing, honestly, the most expensive thing about twinking at level 69 is going to be the enchantments. But if you just got all the gear out the way, that's not going to be much, considering it all comes from quests and dungeons. If you enjoyed that video, that's good. If you didn't enjoy this video, I, I kind of understand because it was a little short, but it's, like I said, y'all, this game, be cra uh, single player project crashes so much. It, it's fun until it crashes 80 for the 80th time. <laughs> Anyways, it's been your boy, Jeton Legion Daddy. I'm out of here, man. Make sure you subscribe, man.